Hello and welcome, Logan Penny here. I'm gonna show you how to take your Unreal Cargo Kitbash 3D assets and bring them into UEFN for your own personal games. All right, here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5.2 and I'm doing some Kitbash 3D testing. I, in my last video, brought in these setup cargo, the plugin with the project, and brought in the demo castle as well as imported one mesh and put a couple copies down. I've just brought in this asset here, and what I want to do is import this into one of my UEFN games, and it's matching the style pretty well. I have cargo open on my other window, and I downloaded the ancient tower, and then I hit import, and I'm going to grab another tower so we have a couple different styles there's tower b and what other towers do we have here i'm actually going to just go straight up to the ancient kit one of my favorites great now we have the ancient kit here there's our towers tower there's tower a and tower e i like tower e and i'm using 1k now you can do 1k 2k uh, JPEG, PNG, look at the size though, right? JPEG is a lot smaller than PNG. So double check what texture size you want. If you're bringing it into Unreal for Fortnite or UEFN, then I highly recommend a 1K JPEG. Now let's hit download, initializing. You see, it's gonna happen so fast, you even see it. It's such a small asset, it's five megs. Just bam, imported. Uh, we're gonna click import. I'm going to move over cargo on my other window. Or I can just put it right here and hit import. And it'll gray out. And then does a little business, adding the actor. And boop, there it is. It's right here. And that's a much more, uh, a much faster, much, much faster. So this is 1K JPEG. And this is 1K PNG. Now, when I'm looking right very close, okay, yeah, it's looking a little bit bad there. But when I look over here, it looks pretty much the same. It's up to you. I'm bringing this into Unreal for Fortnite. Memory and texture size is a concern. So I'm going to get a couple more assets that I want to test out here. What are the other towers? This one looks like it would be super light. 1K PNG, no, 1K JPEG. I think I can even go into account and default that to 1K JPEG. There you go, so we can change our default so I don't have to change it every time. Uh, however, it resets your models. Genre, we're gonna go just straight to kit. That was an ancients. And we know we were looking at our towers. Ancient tower H. Oh, I like L think L. Ah, oh, N. N's a good one. It's only 3.63 megs. Download. Got a little notification. Get out of here. Import. Boom. So fast. It's right there. So we have a little tower and it doesn't even look terrible. Scaled up. Pivot points at the base. That's a 1K texture. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not photo real, <laughs> but this is for UEFN. And we're, we're going stylized here. All right? I'm happy with that. I'll delete that one. I might go in here and grab a few more. Ancient Gate. I like that one. I saw another building that I really enjoyed. Kind of this ancient temple amongst the rocks. JPEG 33.93, download, it's initializing. You might see the yellow bar happen so fast again. Close that, hit import, move cargo out of the way. We're going to see the notifications coming, importing mesh, importing and assigning uh, materials and actors, etc. So you can see the speed of a, of a 4 meg versus a, a 34 meg. Still not bad. And for how big this is, that was pretty quick. 
All right, so let's just test with these with these uh, four items. I'm going to go File, New Level, Basic, Create. We don't want to save that. And we will go to Content Drawer, Actors under Cargo. We'll grab one, two, three, four, and bring them in here. Turn on Snapping at 100, and Control Shift one of them away. Move that over, control, and we'll move you up here, and control, and we'll move you over here. So there are our four assets that we're going to bring into our UEFN, and a game that I've been making and working on called Piggy Pop, and where you shoot pigs and they burst open coins. So let's do that now. I'm going to shift sorry hold control and select all four buildings i can do that in the outliner or i can do that in my viewport or my outliner sorry now and hit control b and I right click that brings me to them and right click asset actions migrate i don't need to save this map don't save here's everything that's going to be coming with the migration into my new uh, project or my other project that i've made materials and our cargo stuff here so cargo actors geometry material texture great hit ok now i'm going to find my uefn project here and it's in the versus demo and plugins and select that and select content make sure you select content select it's doing its thing now saving the package into the destination blah 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 da, 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 da. done okay that was easy now i'm going to actually close out cargo I'm going to close out my Kipash 3D testing and I'm going to open up my UEFN Let's save this map here cargo right click new folder call this maps enter inside and we'll call this uh, UEFN migration next we're going to go to our Unreal editor for Fortnite and hit launch it's inside the Epic Games Launcher under Library. Here we are inside of Unreal for Fortnite. You can close the news pop-up or read all the articles. I've been working inside of the Versus Stronghold demo, and I'm going to open that right now. And we're in. We are in the Welcome to Piggy Pop. Early, early alpha. Just some testing I've been doing here. We're shooting pigs. That's all we're doing for fun. These are piggy banks with money. They're not alive pigs. All right, let's add some assets in here. Uh, cargo, there it is. Actors, those are the ones I was looking for. So bring them over here in this empty spot in the in the desert. I've got some other towers in here, so they're getting a little bit repetitive. That's why we have some ancient kipash towers that we're going to bring in here and see how they look. Right, we're getting an error, the master, standard material. It's missing the usage flag. Okay, with nanite, that's fine. That's a warning, by the way. When you see that, that's a warning, not an error. I'm gonna hit X. And obviously your material color is quite a bit different. We can change that in a later video. I've got rotation snapping on. And what if I want, I want to bring in some more ancient ancient uh, ancient kit pieces as background elements right and the beauty of UEFN and the way the kits are made here is you can just really move these around like I could bring this into the background here and scale it up and move it away and then when the player sees this they're gonna think wow that's really it's a pretty cool background going on in there how do they do that they might even think it's a matte painting you never know. <laughs> okay, let's move this over here as well. Right. This is not about actual placement. This is more about the workflow. Because you are going to notice a few things when we go in here. That the collisions also need to be adjusted and fixed. And we'll take uh, one more. Let's bring it in here.
We'll put it here for testing. All right, now I'm gonna launch my session. I'm gonna have to save what I've done on my map. It's gonna go through the revision control. It might take a minute because it's going and checking in all my changes and it's gonna be, this is the level I wanna play, not the demo map, the map I made. So hit okay if you have that. And when I added those four new Kipash assets, aside from the fact that the material uh, needs its albedo adjusted to match the rest of the uh, assets, it didn't really add a lot of weight. Okay? That's because we took that 1K, uh, 1K texture maps. Now, I, I had made a video a while ago, and I had said that, you know, hey, we have a problem with kit bash, they can only have one kit at, at, uh, at most. That's not true. I was wrong. Okay, we can ha definitely have more than one kit. We cannot have UEFN multiple kits at 4K. We can't do 4K. You can only go up to 2K. You can't have multiple kits at 2K. Okay, we do have limitations. Understanding the limitations is going to help you as you work. And we're waiting, we're launching the session. What's happening here? It's taking a minute. I'm hitting it again. Initializing. Okay, so we have failed and we have non cinematic textures too big. Um, it's saying that we have 4K even though I had downloaded 1K. And why is that? Inside of the master materials. The master materials of Kitbash are going to cause a problem because they are at 4K despite the textures for the rest of it being at being at 1K. As you can see here, imported, displayed, and we have to then manually change these. Let's change these. Right click and resize texture import data. And now when I open that up, oh, hey, it's going to 2K, right? It's now going to, I'm going to save these, save all. I've changed the four Kipash master materials inside of my UFN project to be at most 2K instead of 4K. The rest of the materials, uh, the textures are already at 1K, as we saw when we downloaded the assets. Now I'm going to clear the log close the message, launch the session again, play current. Initialization is occurring. Preparing project for upload. Okay, validating project. This is all looking very good. Uploading project. We're launching Fortnite. Easy, easy anti-cheat, but hey, it's too easy. Using UEFN is the easiest way to make a game. And I cannot encourage you enough to learn it. Um, I didn't really start getting into Fortnite until I started uh, playing with UEFN, uh, which was, you know, three, four months ago. It's, it's come out now, so it's very early. There's a lot of power here. They're doing a lot of work in updating it. I highly encourage you to check it out and begin learning it. Ask me any questions you have along the way. It does take some time launching everything and getting everything connected. Be sure that you're, you have something, you know, doodling or some reading or some other work on your side screen. So when you're doing these, you know, two to five minute wait times, you have something else to occupy yourself with. Once Fortnite Creative Mode launches through UEFN, we're going to be in this waiting room where it's preparing our edit mode and downloading everything. All right, welcome to early alpha piggy pop. There's music playing, but I don't think you can hear it through the recording. Uh, and we've selected class one. And when we shoot a pig, they pop. Okay, that's a completely different tutorial if you want to know how that's done. Oh, wow, that actually looks pretty cool. But we don't have any collisions. But see, I've got my grappling gun on this one tower. And what happens? I can't actually shoot. I can go right through it because I did not set up any collisions. I have a jetpack, so let's fly over and check it out. This is looking super cool. 
All right, there you have it. I hope that this little test was uh, beneficial for you and that you are now able to grab some assets from your kits from Cargo, bring them into Unreal Engine and get them ready and bring them into Unreal Engine for Fortnite and start making games. In the next video, I'm gonna go over how to do all the custom collisions and get things set up actually properly. All right, see you there. Bye now.